Hey there, my name is Max from MaxHarlan.com. I'm an emotional health coach, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you a stress relief breathing technique, which you can do anywhere, anytime. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, I wanna give you my free three-day stress management video course. It's three videos, one each day, delivered straight to your inbox. They're super short, they're five to 10 minutes, and they'll teach you techniques that can immediately get you a little bit of stress relief and start improving your stress levels. If you're interested in that, you can find them at maxharlan.com forward slash stressless, and I'll link it in the show notes down below. If you're feeling overworked, overwhelmed, stressed out, and isolated, which a lot of us are right now during this whole lockdown thing, uh, it's super important to take a little bit of time for yourself. So this breathing technique works because most of us breathe incorrectly. See, most of us do what's called vertical breathing, which is when we inhale, we raise our shoulders, and when we, when we exhale, we bring them back down. The body expands up and down. And that's not an efficient way to breathe. The lungs are actually bigger down below. So when you take a nice deep breath and it expands lower down on the lungs, you're utilizing more lung capacity. This means you can breathe slower and breathe deeper, which is soothing. There's panic receptors, for lack of a better term, at the upper parts of the lungs, which means that if you're breathing shallow, <sighs> And quick, you're sending stress messages to the brain. What I'm gonna teach you right now is how to breathe low, how to breathe slow, and how to send soothing messages to the brain with your breath. The solution to this vertical breathing is to breathe horizontally and to expand horizontally. This is something I learned from my mentor, Belisa Vranich, who I'll link down below, just to give credit where credit is due. So here's the technique in a nutshell. First off, I want you to take your hands, dig them under your ribs, and trace your ribs over to the sides of your body. Then place one hand on each one of these ribs, these low floating ribs, and as you inhale, try to press your hands apart. And as you exhale, get narrow, use the abs, use the corseting muscles and squeeze out the breath. Now, I want you to try that just 10, 15 times right now, pause the video, and see if you can get that nice expansion. It might be a feeling that you're not used to, but see if you can do that. And as a bonus, if you've got a mirror or a camera phone in front of you that's handy, watch yourself and make sure that your shoulders stay nice and still and they don't try and jump up like they're so used to doing. Okay, this might have been challenging for you, but once you've got that, Here's the second part out of three for this breathing technique. It's called the respiratory wave. So if you look at how a baby breathes, when they breathe in, it's like a wave. Their belly expands, then their chest expands. And then when they breathe out, their belly goes down and then their chest goes down. And this wave is our natural pattern of breathing. But so many of us have gotten stuck in all kinds of weird other patterns because of the fact that we slouch forward and because of the fact that we smoke and because of the fact that we drink coffee so we're always frantic and because of the fact that we don't walk around and move so we get physically tense and tensions restrict our breath. So here's how you can get into that respiratory wave again. One hand on your chest, one on your belly. As you inhale, you're going to inhale into the belly and at about halfway, then you're gonna expand the chest while keeping the belly pressed out. As you exhale, belly first, and then the last little bit on the chest. So it looks like belly out, chest out. And on the exhale, belly in, chest in. I want you to practice that technique for 30 breaths in a row. And the only distinction here that I have for you is if you can extend that exhale and make it slightly longer than that inhale, and you do this for 30 breaths with the wave pattern, you're going to feel much more relaxed. This low, slow, soothing breath is a simple pattern that we all used to breathe like when we were little kids and we stopped breathing like when we started going to school and having sedentary, immobile, unhealthy lifestyles. Don't let the simplicity of this technique fool you. I know that it's stupid simple and I know that it seems like, oh, duh, I, I could easily do that. But until you've practiced this regularly, every day for 30 breaths for a couple of days, you won't notice how incredibly soothing it is, especially if you've been breathing incorrectly for all these years as an adult. So I hope this one technique was super useful for you. I hope you immediately noticed that you feel less stressed.
Hey, and if you haven't already, go check out my free three-day stress management video course. It's three videos, each one's super sweet and to the point and short. They're five to 10 minutes, and they'll immediately get you a quick win and help you de-stress. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, you can find them at maxharlan.com forward slash stressless. I'll link it in the show notes down below. If you have any questions or comments about this technique or about stress management more generally, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll get to every comment for the first 30 days. And I'll get to as many as I possibly can as long as this video stays up. In the next video in this stress relief series, I'm going to cover nine techniques to sleep better because sleep and stress are intimately related. So that should be linked somewhere on this page if that video has come out and uh, I'll see you in that next video.